guys so it's my first video of the day it's it's pretty much after one i got up long time ago early this morning but i didn't start recording i was trying to figure out water heater stuff and um you know things online for the restaurant um i was trying to size the right water heater for what what's required so i was doing that so i'm just now reaching getting to the salon um i'm about to check on it see what's going on you know it's gonna be dirty we haven't been here since yesterday so i'm gonna check on it real quick see what's up clean it up and i think i have to go back and um finish working on the equipment stuff that i need and also the water heater um things i have to meet with the plumber later on today um i had gotten two different quotes and i think on um i narrowed it down to which plumber i'm going to use in terms of um getting the bill done so i'm going to meet with him go over a few more things and then probably just sign off a you know sign a contract with him um we um i spoke to the architect the architect did submit the plans um they gave me a confirmation number and all of that so i'm just gonna verify that with the county county tomorrow and um get whatever is needed to to, to get that process started um they had told me that they didn't need anything they all they needed was just a gc and those plans to be submitted so i'm just gonna double check with them just to make sure it was submitted um or on or they get it on their end so I'll do that tomorrow in the morning. I'll go over there. Um, so let me go check on the salon real quick and see what's up with that. Alright guys, so the, the salon was good. Wasn't that dirty. I just, you know, cleaned the kiosk and um, vacuumed the hallway as usual. Vacuumed the mats, front, back, mat, back mat. Bathrooms was pretty decent. I still went over it and cleaned it. Um, yeah, so it's it's looking good in there today over here it's not that busy it's empty today on a mondays um just brunch is closed on a mondays so it's not that busy on mondays um we only have one restaurant open over here on mondays which is marlowe's so the parking lot as you can tell is pretty empty you know marlowe's is not even filled i mean they, they probably get their lunch crowd already and, and it tapered off. It's already after one, no, uh, probably after two. So, let's see. It's no, that clock ain't working. So it's 2.42 now. So the Marlowe's lunch crowd is already gone. Um, yeah, I'm gonna set up my little thing right here, guys. Let's have a little talk. We haven't talked all morning. All right, so. Yeah, guys, so. um, It's a Monday. <laughs> I can't say good morning because I didn't film anything when I got up this morning. Um, as I said, I got right into it. Got up this morning, went straight into the, on the computer and started calling who need to be called. Uh, when it comes to the, the restaurant, spoke with the architect, um, got in touch with the both plumbers um, back and forth with them a little bit and then um, came here figuring out the water heater stuff like what I was saying before and um, then I came here it's already the day is already gone however um, I have to meet with the the plumber the one I'm gonna I want to use I'm gonna meet with him to go over some things this evening as I was saying before so we're gonna meet this evening at 7 um, in the morning I'm, I'm going to swing by the the, the 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 zoning and planning planning and development they call it um so now i'm going to head back home um i got it's now just 2 45 so i'm going to go home do some research see if i could find some equipment um to work with um if i could find them used i'll i'll probably go use if 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 i'm saving money if i'm not saving any money then i'll just buy it new um, or if the price is close to a new one, I'll just take it new. Um, they do have um, so so the oven the 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 oven I'm I'm looking to buy. It's um, 
it's like a half brand oven it's not like a a, a a brand name oven right so if I get a brand name oven for the price of a new half brand oven I'll take the brand name one you know what I'm saying once it's in you know good enough condition and and, and we could work with it um, other than that I'll just use the, the off brand one um, so I'm gonna go and try and start searching for those equipment see if I could buy them um, you know new or used I'd, I'd rather new but if I can't find if I, if I find used that's in good, great condition I'll take you know like new condition so I'm gonna head over now and go do some research as far as equipment I'm gonna see if I could order up the sinks that I need um, that's the first part the sinks and the um, the mop sink the sink the 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 uh, what do you call it the mop sink the sink and the, the single compartment sink three compartment sink and the single compartment sink I'm gonna order all those um, from now because once the plumbing once we get our permit and the plumbing starts then we'll need to To have those on site for the plumber to you know start hooking them up and you know running stuff to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and start ordering those things um, For them to you know At least we could put them in place just to get an idea of where they fall and all of that so the equipment, I want to start getting all the equipment so that when the guy put the hood in, um, you know, yes, we have a plan and the plan tells you where everything is going to go. So they could do the roughing without the equipment, right? But I always just want to get a visual. So let's say we have the fryers and the oven and all those things. If we have them on location, when they're putting in those gas lines, at least we'll know exactly, hey, you know, this is where it's going to go, you know? We have it on paper we have measurements on paper but for some reason i like to just have that equipment to visualize everything you know what i'm saying even although we know where it's gonna go um so that's the whole reason of um, me getting the equipment for the wind that day comes so throw you know i still got two three months i'm gonna get them within that two three months and have them in my garage in one place just to, to, to have them you know and as I said it, the prices of these things they're going up as we speak so because they're going up as we speak I'd rather start buying them up and have them you know oh, oh, give me a big deal yeah and we get up too early so guys I got up early this morning I got up like six this morning before daylight right so I got up and I said no I'm gonna take 30 minutes so I took 30 minutes got back up like probably like around um, I would say around 7.30 I got up, got back up and, you know, came out and started doing what I had to do, you know, but, but yeah, um, salon is good, I'm heading back home, um, as I say, I don't have anything to do on the road pertaining to the restaurant, I'm still, you know, I still have to meet with the plumber. The plumber that that's doing the grease trap, he is the first, my first priority. He's the main guy right now. I need to get started. So I'm, you know, I made my decision in terms of who I want to get it done. So I'm just gonna, you know, have him come out, you know, make some final arrangements and and have him start as soon as possible. Um, I'm gonna get his deposit to him and. Um, and have him start the job, you know. So, you know, we'll 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 try. I'm in the wrong lane here, guys. Yeah. All right. So that's where I'm at today. I didn't. I know I didn't give you that morning. You know, good morning and all of that. And pretty much, um, I didn't go in the backyard as I used to and drink my hot water. I did all of that. I just didn't film it. You know. Um, I was in a rush this morning when I get up to call everyone, you know, make a list of what I, I needed to do today, you know, so, so the day is going good, it's not like I wasn't doing anything, I was, you know, the, the water heater calculations guys, that's a little bit intricate, so let me talk about that, so the water heater, I'm, um, yeah, so the water heater, the health department determines the size water heater you need, right? 
So how they do that is by every single faucet, if you're using, um, they have a table that they go by if you're using a tanked water heater, so a tank, a, a water heater with, with a tank, it, it tells you how much gallons per minute or gallons per hour um, the sink uses, right? So that that's how you determine the size water heater that you need and this also the, the the BTUs needed, right? When it comes to a water heater. So if you're going tankless, tankless they measure it differently. It's not gallons per per hour. It's gallons per minute, right? So how that works is when when they have a table as well where you put all the information in for each sink and then you'll add it up and then that's how you know how much what size tankless water heater you need right so because i'm trying to figure out if i should go tankless or tank that's why i'm working out both to see which one is more you know which one more costly so i could go with a cheaper road or save some money so um they both use gas one is just tankless one is a tank a big round tank right so um how the tankless works is you have to check the specs on all those faucets that you have in the building right so now i'm i have to check this the faucets i'm gonna use go in the spec sheet see how much they use so so i i found out that all hand sinks or faucets pretty much use two two gallons per minute um two what was it two i think it don't worry to you guys two gallons per minute yeah, I think it's two gallons per minute, right? Or something like that. Yeah, two gallons per minute. So for each faucet you have in there, it's that times two, right? And that's how you'd get the amount of total gallons per minute that you, you need for your tankless water here. So with an R case, it's like, it works out to like 10 gallons per minute. Um, which if I get an 11 gallon, tankless water heater it should be good right so I was there printing out the specs that's what took the time because I have to be checking for the faucet we're gonna use and then look at the specs for that faucet in order to put it on that form that table that they use to calculate it right so after I done doing that that took like an hour two hour just to try and figure that part out just to find it and source it you gotta source the one that you're gonna use because because of the price you're trying to get the best price for the you know for the right right price for the right faucet stuff like that is it is it you know long enough short enough you know sprayers stuff like that so it's a little bit of research right so that's what I was doing this morning so that's why I wasn't filming because I was trying to concentrate on on that part and that is critical because those heater water heater systems they ain't cheap right so the coat the plumber gave me it, it, it was probably gonna be around six seven thousand maybe eight thousand dollars all in by the time you put water heater and recirc system recirc is the recirculation um, pump that keeps the water hot right by the tap so if you have the tap right here as soon as you turn on it gets hot real quick if you notice in your household sometimes you got to turn that water on and it, and it runs for a while before it gets hot with the recirc pump it, it, it's like hot water on the demand that's when you're using a tank system right um, some of the tankless systems they're there they have that recirc pump built into it so that's what I'm checking for I'm checking to make sure hey does it have a research pump does it doesn't have one all that changes the price of things so if you buy one and it doesn't have research then you have to put a research on it right um, and that's what makes the price go so not only you have to buy that you have to buy a research pump the, the plumber is gonna charge more it's just a lot to, to deal with when it comes to um, pricing and you know one little change can make make it much more money a lot more money so i'm just trying to figure out if tankless is better for us or or a tanked system now when i went to the the health department the other day without telling her the specs or the pipe she already knew how much pipes are there already right so I guess she just know that inspector already knew if you had four pipes you needed two water heaters. So she told me that we needed two water heaters, right? 
but that was based upon we counting the two bathroom wa hand wash sinks right in counting the two bathroom hand wash sinks then we would need more hot water more heater more gallons per minute right so what we were planning on doing with the plumber we were saying we would put the point of use system now a point of use system is actually a small electric water heater that goes under the sink so the hand wash sink in the bathroom you just put a, a point of use system under there it gets the water real hot instantly once you turn that tap on it, it comes on and makes the water hot so those two bathrooms we wouldn't count those two bathrooms as one of the entire you know faucets right so we had counted four faucets two hand wash sink and then two hand wash sink in the bathroom so if i put individual systems on those in the in the bathrooms then we would take that off of the, the restaurant total faucets right so i need to go back to ask her now since we're doing that since we're putting individual heaters do we we're not going to count those because those are independent you know what i'm saying those two washrooms are independent when it comes to the hot water it's not going to be supplied with the water from the main tank right main tankless water here. so i'm just going to go back to her verify that hey can we use one as opposed to two hot, um, tankless water heater because two tankless water heater is going to be crazy that's double the money so if we're gonna spend somewhere about three thousand to get those installed it's double the money so it's six thousand so then in this case might as well we just go with a tank you know what i'm saying because we could probably get away with a tank water heater for around the same or less money so that's what i was working out guys i was trying to figure out what's the best way is it tankless or tank so now i still have to go back i'll go there in the morning and just um ask them um if that's okay for us to just use one um one tankless as opposed to two all right why are them spam calling us top call yeah so um you know pretty much it's a lot of back and forth guys so if you guys really think you're not going to go back and forth and it's just gonna be an easy one two three it, it doesn't work like that um it's always a back and forth back and forth between the, the departments um see i already went to the the planning planning and development the other day just to ask them if the plans were submitted the plans wasn't submitted however the architect just sent me the confirmation everything i don't know maybe he wasn't looking in the right place or he didn't see it or it wasn't it wasn't um it didn't go through as yet i don't know however i'm going to um go back just to make sure they see it because the thing about it you don't want to leave it up into their hands thinking that it's there and they are seeing it and you know what i'm saying so by going back and confirming that they have it then he could say hey we got it give us two weeks three weeks you know when to check back stuff like that um um you know so i'll go back to him tomorrow um there's a really good gentleman there um that that you know he's he's nice he's helpful he, he's really really you know good on that so i'll go speak to him tomorrow and see you know um if he actually got those plans um submitted uh i do have to call my architect again um i need a, a copy a, a, a physical copy so i could turn into the health department i'm almost ready for the health department with all the, the what they need I, I think i'm ready for them um minus the plans so i'll have to get those plans from the architect either a printed one or if he sends it to me i'll print it out or something i'm, I'm hoping he gives me a copy of of those plans he has one printed um everything is done electronically now so they always just send us electronically or or he sends it to Gwyneth electronically so um they're eliminating the whole having this whole plan you don't need to walk around with something like this now this is for the um for us to just lay out for the plumbers to look at and stuff like that but um as far as the architect and the zoning planning you know they're cutting out the whole paperwork stuff all of that is done electronically um so 
tomorrow I'll go back to the planning and zoning make sure they have it um, I could probably uh, they still open now um, no, I'll go tomorrow I'll go tomorrow because I'm going to talk to the let's talk to the plumber first before that way if I have any questions I could um, ask them in the morning so I'm going to talk with the plumber first um, so yeah so I'm going to go inside now I'm going to call the architect find out if he has a, a printed plan if he doesn't have one I'll have him send it over to me and then I'll go get it printed um, I have this one already but this one is not a stamped plan the engineer and everybody's not stamped on there so I'm going to get um, get one that's already stamped and everything so I could you know turn that into the to the health department all right so that's where I'm at weekend went well uh, went to that little pool party thing uh, on Saturday yesterday wasn't that crazy I pretty much um, stayed home and did more research edit a few videos and I um I ended up um uh, testing some more chicken yesterday. I have more chicken that I'm comfortable with where, where it's at right now. But I'm going to um just keep testing, having people taste it, you know. Um, so yeah. Uh, oh, we need to call the gas company. I just saw a gas company van pass by. So I'm gonna check, put that on the list to check with the gas company, or the water company, and the light company. Um, I'm going to have them start looking to turn those on not to turn them on but get the meters installed set up an account and set a date for us to turn the the power on um, the reason why we want power because once they start hooking up the get the lines for the AC heating and air we want to turn that system on just to make sure it works um, for the workers as well they might need lights inside there they might need um electric to, to work their power power tools stuff like that so we're gonna start having um well, i'm gonna have the light turn on um in another month or so um the gas we don't really need um but i'll have them come out and connect the meters and stuff so that way we could have our plumber route the, the gas line to the AC and to the equipment so he'll come come in somewhere on the roof and, and get those done so he could always run the pipe down to it but I would have I would rather have the gas company put their meter in the space where it's gonna be that way the plumber will know exactly where to come down on that wall so I just don't want him to run it here and the gas meter is over here then you have to you know what I'm saying so the pipe comes runs on the ceiling comes down the wall at least he'll have an idea where that meter is he could just hook straight up to it um so when we're ready to connect he'll you know everything will be where it's supposed to be so um i'm gonna check back in with you in a few i'm gonna go inside start you know making some notes of what we spoke about right here and um call it the architect so i'll check back in in a few all right guys so i'm here back at the circle K we um, are meeting with the plumber <clears throat> he's gonna meet me over here for um for um for another walkthrough yeah we meet over here for another walkthrough um, I'm just gonna renegotiate his price a little bit and then um we could we could probably go from there I, I really want this guy to do it he's he seems to be more knowledgeable and have a good understanding of what's going on um, I believe he he has his own equipment to do the job so so that makes the job a little bit lower price wise um, the other plumbers they have to outsource some of the work like the equipment to go get you know they have to get uh, somebody that does the concrete cutting and the removal and stuff this guy however seems to do everything like he does the concrete cutting he he'll do the cement work he has his crew that does all of it so with that being said he, his price could be lower um, while the other plumbers they they don't do gas right this guy does everything he does the gas he does the plumbing he cuts the floors he does the grease trap the other guys seem to 
do specialize in in you know one or two of those different sections so its prices are more reasonable um, so I'm still going to negotiate a part of the price uh, the, a part of the section of the, that what's going on because I have other plumbers giving me prices where a certain section of it so, so for instance the you have the grease trap part then you have the plumbing part then you have the gas part of it right the price he quoted me for the plumbing part of it I'm gonna niche negotiate that down a little bit um, the fact that I could get another plumber to do that section for less money you know what I'm saying so it's all about shopping you gotta shop shop around and make sure you get the best price for the money sometimes the cheapest price is not the best price but you still have to shop for you know a fair price you know what I'm saying um, I know things is expensive nowadays guys it's real expensive um, you know it's, it's, it can get costly especially the materials that they have to use and all of those things they, they do get expensive so you want to negotiate a fair price but you don't want to negotiate too low to where they, they won't be able to do the job or you can't afford to do the job stuff like that so you, you want to make sure you have enough money to, to, to negotiate a fair price right um, so yeah I'm here I'm waiting um, I, I'm, I'm gonna go inside and get the, um, the lock box remember I put the lock box on the locks so I'm gonna go inside open up the doors and, and um, get my plans inside there just in case he wants to take a look at it um, but yeah let me get inside and open the doors real quick and then we could go from there well, let me close out this GPS done all right all right let's get inside and open the doors be walking around with my plans every day you know um, everywhere I go all these different places you walk around with my plans stole it or try to break in it there's nothing in this place to steal anyway so I don't see why someone would um, try to break it or get in so here we go um, we're back at the location restaurant location once more as I said you're gonna be seeing you're gonna be seeing this this location a lot um, in terms of um, you know me coming here all the time and trying to figure stuff out um, I noticed there's power in this thing right here but I don't think there's power in the in the in the box there's power out in the in the um, outside but there's no power here I don't think they turn the breaker on uh, I'm, I'm believing there's a thing that's missing right here. Yeah. I believe there's a breaker that's missing right here, the main breaker. So even although they turned the one on outside by the meter, there's one right here that needs to be on as well. So yeah, I think this is Jose coming in right here. Um, so let's see what, what um, needs to be done from here. Yeah. All right, guys. So I'm gonna pause for a minute. All right, guys. So here, just got done. It's hot in here, guys. Don't don't mind me. I'm sweating, but um, I'm here with the plumber. I just got done with the plumber. Made our negotiations. Um, shook hands on it. He's gonna send me a um, 
he's going to send me his his quote, his invoice and everything with the details when we need to get started, um, how much deposit we need to make, and I have a few questions, well one question for the, um, for the, I have one question for the, the planning and, and zoning tomorrow. He needs a BPN number, that number pretty much um, is the number that we, he uses to, to apply for the, for the, um, for the for the permit for his permit so hold on guys let me get off okay i think i got it so what i'm doing guys is i um i take a picture of their license plate um <laughs> i am playing around with none of these guys <laughs> um i need to know where they live what they drive the the, the license plate um, with someone's license plate i could pretty much find them if something is wrong or we can't they run off we could as well just get the authorities involved and they, they find them um so what i do every time i speak to a contractor i'll take his picture uh the picture of his license plate and his picture of him um, that way we could we could track them if anything yeah um i would highly recommend you guys do that <laughs> if you're working with any kind of contractor anyhow back to the to what I was saying, he's gonna take care of our gas lines. So if you look on the ceiling, what, what makes it cost a lot, the gas line comes in at the end of the building where the gas station is. Goes up on the roof, comes all the way over. We're almost at the end of the other side of the building. So the gas line has to run all the way to the other side, come down in here, which is another 20 feet, and it also has to go to our AC system. So with doing all of that, he's gonna have to cut all these floors to put the um, all the piping in, he's gonna have to um, dig that grass area right there to put our grease trap in. So to dig that, put the grease trap in, run the pipes in, do the the plumbing from the ceiling, all the water lines, everything, to 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 put our another toilet right here. To do all that work, it's a lot of money. So at the end of the day, <laughs> you know, they have to get heavy equipment in here to dig that dirt, um, to bury it. That grease trap is a huge tank, guys. That, 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 that tank is like, like the size of this bathroom, halfway like this, but it's as big as this bathroom right here. That's how big it is, all right? So all the way back to here. It's just not that high, it's this half. So a grease trap is like a huge tank. Um, it would be like a septic tank, but it's for grease. Grease goes in it, right? So the price that this contractor has given me, I think it's an excellent price compared to everybody else's price. He, I negotiated the price that I wanted to pay. He met me in the middle, right? The original price he gave me, the price I want to pay, we met in the middle. So I'm, I'm comfortable with that. Um, the thing is, with him doing all this, I don't have to get any other plumber or anybody else involved. He'll take care of everything. And that's what I wanted. I wanted someone who is knowledgeable, who could get the work done and also can, can move quickly. You understand? And then get every single stage of it. So he's doing from the grease trap to the compartment sinks, the water and heater for that, water lines, hot lines. He's gonna put our drainage for a toilet in and he's gonna do our gas lines. So normally, not many contractors can handle all that, right? Some contractors, they, I would have to get one for the grease trap only. They only do grease trap. Then I would have to get someone to do the roughing on the inside, right? with the toilet and, and stuff like that. Then I'm gonna have to get somebody else to do the gas lines, to hook it up to AC or the, um, the, the equipment, right? So with this contractor, he handles everything. Um, he was recommended by a very good person, is actually the person who is doing the hood for us. And that person is very reliable, so I'm, I'm hoping he's very reliable. So far, he's a, he's a, he's a older guy, he, the way we talk, I just get that vibe. He 
pretty much I'm I'm just just that aura he has I'm thinking that we're gonna have a good relationship from here on um, I, I have friends that are doing the same thing I'm doing um, in the coming months and you know if he does well here he's definitely gonna get the job there so it's you know as I said as workmen out there guys if you guys are workmen treat your customers with respect fair price answer your phones because that's the most important thing Uno no answer on a phone especially our people um, but if you treat people good out there and charge these people fair price do a good job do it timely get it done most importantly answer your phone if you guys doing that i'm quite sure you'll get a lot of recommendations since i've started this three weeks ago i've recommended <laughs> two people <laughs> already based on how they treated me so the architect was recommended already they got their call he got his call and the hood guy was recommended he got his call he actually did his job on the other one right so he actually he he haven't even started working for me but the person who i recommended him to he got that job done two weeks ago so i'm trying to build this team where i could have these guys to reliable to call on them and they're reliable right so um if you guys are contractors out there and you guys watching this answer on the phone see me now gonna stop stress the party you guys don't answer phones right you if you ain't answering your phone get yourself a secretary right i don't know why even you haven't even started the job and you guys don't answer phones so one little better than that um, as contractors whether you're a plumber you're an electrician you're an ac person you don't answer on a phone bridge you don't care that busy if you know if you can't answer it on a day in the ceiling somewhere at work or, or, or just call back or text back and say hey i'm on the job can i call you back in a few and make sure you call back a lot of times we as the the, the consumer we just want a call back or 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 just hey I'm, I'm on the job site can you know can you just call back real quick or you know give me a time you're gonna call me back but don't just leave me hanging some of, some of these guys don't even answer and i don't even know them i'm calling them for a job and they don't answer to give them a job so contractors answer on a phone and and stop when you get the work when you go missing upon the people when you stop that when you even cut that crap out because people ain't got time to waste we doing this thing we're doing it. yes we're doing it on a budget some people have the full money some people have budgets but if you agree to something just get it done we ain't got time to waste the longer you take the longer we 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 we, we hold up the process we can't make no money right so in in, in other words you you kind of bleep in us you 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 know you know i'm cost about it <laughs> but you kind of screwing us you see what i'm saying because you're gonna get paid you hold up the job you got paid already but we couldn't open up in time to get working so we could make our money you see what i'm saying but you got your money so you guys need to stop doing that get the job done knock it out if you can't handle it don't take the job answer the phone and say hey i'm i'm pretty booked out right now i'm sorry but hope we could work in the future say something like that if you don't know what to say you know what I'm saying? If you guys know you book three, four, five jobs and you can't take another one because your crew is, is everywhere all over and you spread too thin, don't take another one. Don't take people's money and then you can't get the job done and then you end up in court with the person and waste time and more money. Just say you can't take it. If it's two months later, you know you're going to free up, tell the person two months later I'll be able to take it. Then they'll plan around that. Then they could negotiate as we as the... The business owners could negotiate this place and say hey my plumber is booked out give us another month he won't be able to start it till a month in you know what i'm saying so then we we would know what to do but don't be take, taking a job think we are here thinking you could get it done next week and you can't that don't make no sense right so i'm just it's just a little contractor rant right now not all of them are not all of you guys are like that some of you guys are real good when it comes to you know you know as far as even this guy right here or the hood guy right here is very communicative I, I call him ask him anything I say hey do you know somebody right away he's you know he's giving me contacts on, on different contractors and stuff like that you know um, he gave me two numbers he say hey 
find out from them and whichever one you choose guy i know both of them but whichever one you choose business is business it's, it's what you could negotiate which is which is true you know so um you know as i said don't leave us hanging contractors contractors please if you can't handle the job or you don't want to take the job or for some reason you don't want to do it just say hey i can't i won't be able to do it and then i'll move on you know i uh, had a previous grease trap guy came out price was good everything he came sound like he was you know he just never answered back and it's not like i disagreed to his price or negotiated his price his price was the price that i agreed to he told me a number and i said yes let's get it done that's the price he did. i never even negotiated his price the reason why i negotiate this guy's price is because he's doing everything and then i got a better price in some of the things them that we're doing so some of the sections i got a better price right and then some price somewhere a little more so what i did i just negotiated the price a fair price where i would pay overall so meaning the next person who would be charging x amount for the plumbing inside he's charging less outside i just took all of the best prices and negotiated it with him that's what i did right so you know i knew i would have to pay a big price on the on the gas lines because it's far right so whatever the gas man would have charged i say yo this is the best price i got on the gas i'm gonna pay you for the gas right here this is the best price on the inside right here i'm gonna pay you this best price for that you're charging x amount for the grease trap we're gonna pay that right so i took all those numbers and have one person do the job and the reason for that is the reason why i need one person to do the job is because i can't be bothered with different 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 contractors coming in here some going out this one is not working in 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 sync with the other all these things has to go in in a timely manner so for instance the the grease trap is going to be in the grass outside right there he's going to run through either through this door under the concrete and come in or he's going to come straight in under there so he's going to come in and then it's going to rough in right here this the drainage is going to be right here right so if he's coming in right there and and um the, the rest of the plumbing needs to be done right drainage and stuff like that right then what's gonna happen is you're gonna have a different plumber working in here doing this part of it then you have a different man out there doing it they have to coordinate to make sure everything matches back to the to the drainage right there you know in terms of height you know but with him doing everything he'll know what depth to dig right here to mate up with what with the pipe he brings in you know what i'm saying so that's why i say it's good to have one person because then i want to eliminate the mistakes right so the hood guy he already knows this guy jose right the hood guy is going to put the hood in so while he's putting in the hood he could communicate with jose and say hey bring your gas line right here we're going to bring a gas line right here we're going to put it right here he already know they could communicate right so that's why i would rather use one guy to take care of you know all of that now sometimes you may not be able to use one person because one person now may not be able to do everything you know what i'm saying um but it's 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 good and it's not good sometimes sometimes prices are off and you know this person might be too overwhelmed with what he's doing to us work wise and he'll get that some of it done and then the next part of it so it just depends every case is different not all the time you could use one person i wanted to use one person in this particular situation because of what i what i got going on so now all i have to worry about now is the ac and the um and the electrician right so once i know my hood system is done my plumbing section is done all i have to focus now is on the electrician to get me a price and and the walls to someone to just um frame in the walls and framing the walls is not too bad framing the walls is is one two three um it's just the materials and to get a framer to come and do that there's no permit once you pull your permit for your building um any um 
drywall person could do that. Um, so that that that's the other part, big part of it. Um, however, I am going to come in here and take all these tiles out because they're going to have to rerun wire and electrical up there and all of that. So I'm just going to remove all of that. That way, um, when the electrician comes or whoever comes, they could just do what they got to do without, you know, removing anything. I'll go ahead and remove everything for them. Um, we don't need a permit to remove the ceiling tiles. They just push up and, you know, take them down. So I'll go ahead and remove those, um, store them somewhere inside there or something, or store them off, off site. Uh, we could put them in that storage room right here because there's nothing. We're not going to be doing any work in this room. So I'm going to store them in this room right here. Um, my plumber said that um, he's going to not disturb this bathroom. He's going to try his best not to do anything with this bathroom. We're going to get the Honda counter hot water heater to put in here. Um, and then we're going to be using that hot water heater for both. We're going to get two, one here, one inside. Hook that up for the wash sink. So those are going to be a point of use, they call it. So it's like an instant hot water heater that goes under the sinks. And then what it does, it just supply instant hot water to the, to the, to the hand wash sinks. Um, over here, we'll have our electric, uh, not electric, or um, tankless water heater that goes to these two sinks. Um, so once we get that done, we're going to move on to the next stage. So he's going to start his grease trap first right away. And then um, once he starts that process, the hood guy could start his process. The, the, the parts is on its way maybe by tomorrow or the next. It's supposed to be shipping, shipping out tomorrow, I believe. Let's see. Uh, the 10th is shipping out today. So that hood could get here at any time um, towards the end of the week. I don't think it takes a week to, to get here. So once that gets here, the hood guy could start doing what he needs to do. Um, um, yeah. So I'm going to, as I talk about that, I'm going to email him the plans both the site plan and the plans up there so he could work on his permit and i'm gonna email the site plans to the plumber as well um, and the building plans so we'll do that i'm gonna go to the development tomorrow morning planning and development and i'm going to the, the health department to talk about the water heater again um so once we get both those people started all i have to do now is just wait on the billing permit i already forwarded the plans to the gc so once the gc um looks over it and everything looks good in his eyes he's gonna pull our permit for us once he pulls our per permit for us then we'll um we'll we'll be able to just wait on on the building permit to start building right um all that has to They'll, they'll have to review the plan, which takes about two weeks. So two weeks from now, we'll hear what the, you know, less two weeks or less, hopefully. We'll hear what they say about the plans. Um, if they say okay with the plans and they're approved, then we could take that to our, to Swanee, and then Swanee will issue our permit, right? Um, once they issue our permit, then it's all hands on deck, all hands on deck. We could um, start, he could start doing the plumbing on the inside, outside everything um we could start doing our electrical we could start doing the whole bill we could go all hands on deck right um i would however prefer the hood guy to come in and get his part done um where when we're digging up floors we're not in his way or anything that's the plan he said he'll come in and knock that out before everybody start working um so yeah, um, it's looking good guys. I mean, right now all I need is, uh, I have an AC guy could um, take care of the AC stuff for us. Um, and I have an, I have to look into an electrician. I have an electrician, but I don't think I'm gonna use him to do this particular job. Um, this is more of a smaller job. It's not a full build out job, it's, it's a smaller job. So I'm gonna get with them to see how much they charge. 
and then also I'm gonna get with um someone to do the framing. As I said, the framing, I could probably do the frame or the, the the framing for it. But um we'll see. We'll see. I'm gonna take some of this ceiling tile down to see what it looks like up there to see how far they went up with the with the partitions, the walls. The interior walls doesn't have to be a firewall. Um, firewall means that wall right there, it's all the way to the ceiling. This wall is all the way to the ceiling. The back wall is all the way to the ceiling. But the interior walls we put in right here to do the separation, those walls is just gonna go to this height to where the grids are, not all the way to the original ceiling. So um, I'm gonna take these tiles out, I'm gonna bring a ladder maybe tomorrow and you know, look up there and see what's up there when I remove all these tiles. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and just, you know, start removing the tiles and we're gonna, we have two AC vents right there, one right there and then one right there. We're gonna move those AC vents um, cause they put them in different locations. So we're gonna reroute those, those vents and add more and, and bring more drops. We're gonna have, I think, it, believe it's two in the front right there and probably four in the back so we're gonna extend those um they already got one in here and they got one in here as well in the bathroom so we're gonna have to put another one in this bathroom and we're gonna have to put another one somewhere i have another ac guy i could call but they they're super busy sometimes so i don't know if i could you know yeah but yeah, um, I'm gonna reach out to him as a matter of fact. Yeah, I'm gonna reach out to those guys. Yeah. yeah, so AC, electrical, and framing. I know we should be. I just need someone to lock in on that part of it. So I locked in with everybody else. Already. All right, guys, so I'm gonna head out. I'm gonna head back home. Um, already, I'm done for the day pretty much. Um, it's after five, six o'clock maybe, so we can't we can't really um, do anything else. Um, yeah, so let me let me um let me um head back to the house and then I'll check back in after.